When I was younger, I used to get bullied about my voice. It's amazing how your weaknesses become your strengths over time. I'm Baby Rose, and this is On The Rise. I've always sang when I was a little kid around the house, but I never like called myself a singer. I think when I started recording music in studios, I was pretty young. I was like 12, 13. That's when I started calling myself a singer. I knew that I had a very unique voice ever since I was very young. But it wasn't because it was celebrated, it was more because I was teased about it. I would sing around the house. I was more interested in writing poetry. I think I realized I kind of had a soulful voice. I remember always being put on the spot as a kid, like in front of my family members at Christmas and Thanksgiving or family reunions. Those were my first shows. The first time that I stepped out on a whim outside of my comfort zone was when I did my high school talent show. I had them roll out a piano and I sang a song that I wrote and I won first place. And that shit kind of sealed the deal for me. I was like, oh, yes. The Leo in me popped out. It was fine. To myself's recording process was very organic. I had my best friend, Deja, my homie, Trey. They helped me write songs. And I'm just making the music that I guess I want to hear. I was in a very real life situation where I was Ending, I was at the end of a four-year relationship with somebody that I thought I was gonna be with for life. And that shit was like pulled like a rug from me. And so all of a sudden it feels like, it felt like I was kind of like in the ocean and having to learn to swim. Instead of drowning, it's like I created to myself with my homies and everything has been Phenomenal so far. I would not trade anything for the world. I made it seem like I was fine when I saw you that last time. The album itself is a reminder to me to remember what the source is. Like, for all of my happiness, for all of my fulfillment, ultimately comes from myself. And it's not a cute process. It's not pretty, it's not easy. This isn't gonna be the last time my heart is broken in one way or another. And I've kind of learned to embrace it because when things go left, it usually means some shit is about to go right. Oh man, tour life is lit. I learned a lot from being on the road with Ari Lennox and being on the road with Snow Allegra. It's a different feeling when you're headlining because it's just a feeling of like, y'all really came here for me. Like you know my music. I've affected you in some way. My music that I wrote from my own personal, I had to do this for me, is helping other people. And every night before I go on stage, I pray, like, I thank God. Because it's just, I couldn't have asked for like such a, an amazing experience to be around people that I love and that love me. Like, my bandmates have been with me for the better part, like, oh my God, we, we would be performing like, in bars and shit in Atlanta just to do it, or just rehearsing just to do it because we all love music. Everybody on board with me, like I love so much. Being in so many different cities, back to back to back, like the wearing on your body, I guess that's the kind of low for me. Like I always kind of get sick no matter what. I'm learning how to preserve my immune system and it's a beautiful process not eating gas station food and goddamn eating salads and ginger shots. Like, 
are almost as lit as tequila shots. So I'm evolving, for lack of better words. <laughs> I'm evolving, okay, and it's wonderful. <laughs> I'm about to make some shit up because I am not gonna say this. Shit. Hold on, rapid fire. My first celebrity crush was James Franco. Not ashamed. I still have a crush on him. <laughs> if I wasn't a singer, like in reality, reality, like shit just didn't work out, and I didn't like have all of the string of events that happened, I'd probably be working at the smoothie shop that I was working at still, which would be lame, but it would also be fi, because they had CBD oil. So I would like put CBD oil in my smoothies and it was a vibe. I have slid in DMs before, who hasn't? Like we're grown. And celebrities have slid in my DMs, but I'm grown and play the fifth, period. A dream collaboration of mine, Quincy Jones, because he's the goat. I feel like that would be fire. Or the guy that made Akira. Look it up. It's only the greatest anime film of all time. I don't know what I would do. I want to be the voice of an anime character. So putting that gem in a universe. Making it for me looks like being recognized by my peers, by those that I look up to and respect. But I feel like this is the beginning for me, so making it would just be, you know, achieving more success, more sold out dates, making songs that last throughout time, that other artists wanna sing, that outlive me, having a catalog that outlives me, I think is making it. And, that's like the part that I guess I won't see, but if I do the work now and I continue how I'm doing now, I, I can foresee me being able to see the fruits of my labor. Everything that I do, like I'm absolutely in love with the process and the journey that I'm on.